Oh, that door don't open. I'm trying to sneak around because two of the instructors are here. And they probably gonna ask me what I'm doing. But look, y'all. Look at this. Just look. Filthy. Filthy. Pure tea. Filthy. If you get in here without no um, pants or nothing on, you bound to go home with an infection. This is the tire that blew the other day. When I tell y'all, we thought somebody was shooting at us. It's like, bro, what in the world? Okay, I gotta put my camera up, y'all. I'm gonna finish. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're gonna be looking at Cat Law Truck Driving School out of Georgia. Let's see. Uh, it's still Georgia. Cat Law Truck Driving School. They say, come and get your Georgia CDL commercial driver's license here at Cat Law Truck Driving School. In just three to four weeks, they say the best practicing method and job assistance program ranks with the best in the nation. They say Cat Law programs are designed to get you trained, licensed, and safety behind the wheel as quickly as possible so that you can begin your new career. So I was just kind of curious to know, uh, you know, the finance, uh, the finances of, of both and you know, just ask a couple of questions. I don't want to take too much of your time. Is that okay? Yeah, I get paid to do this, sir. So <laughs> ask your question. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so for me to get my uh, restrictions lifted off my license, how how much would that how much would that run me? So you have to sit through the full course. Um, we do not have a specific course yet. Just for the automatic restrict restriction being lifted. Um, so it would be the standard tuition. Um, but see, you would have a few things deducted from it. So tuition is normally $38.95. We deduct $45 for your permit, $35 for your physical. So it would be $3,815. And you would be doing the full 160-hour course over again. Ooh. Even though, yeah. e well, for me, even though I already got my license and I went through all of that already? Yeah, because we don't offer any type of partial training. Um, so there may be another school that does just the behind the wheel road training and then offer you a CDL road test. Um, but the way that our licensing is set up with Department of Driver Services, you have to sit through the full course in order to test with us. So that would that that would be the same for my buddy as well, right? Yeah. Well, your your friend doesn't have his CDL CDL at all, does he? No, and he'd just start from square one, just like you did. Um, he would have to sit through an accredited school's permit classroom, um, make at least an eighty on the classroom exam. Um, and then, uh, you know, do the hands-on training, and then he's eligible to take the CDL road test. The cost for him would be the same for for me because we're, we're both going through the whole program all over again, right? Yeah, his, his would be a little bit more because we would be covering the cost of his permit exam and the cost of his DOT physical. I went off the assumption that you probably already had your physical since yes, you're a CDL holder. Yes, ma'am. Um, so his his tuition would be thirty eight ninety five, but um, we accept a grant called WIOA um, Workforce Initiative Opportunity Act, and it would cover the cost of both of you guys. Um, yeah, and it, it is income based or lack thereof, but that's definitely something that I would tell you to look into and see if you qualify for because it's a grant 
it's not something that you pay back. What about uh, what about financial assistance? Do you guys offer that? So we don't accept like traditional financial aid, but we do accept that we owe a grant. So you guys don't offer in-house finance, uh, financial assistance oh, no more? We offer in-house financing. Um, yeah, so the loan option is thirty nine ninety five, and that would let you put $2,000 down and finance the remaining nineteen ninety five in a loan with credit approval. Okay, okay, cool, awesome. All right, so of course I'm coming in there to uh, get my, uh, of course my restrictions lifted off my license. Uh, do you guys, uh, what 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 would be, uh, you know, what would be the what would I'm looking at like daily? Is this every day of the week? Can I offer weekends? Uh, do you guys have nights? The weekday schedule is going to be Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Um, those are 10-hour days. We don't offer night classes. We do have a weekend program. Um, my weekend program right now is booked up until January 6th. Uh, of course, since I'm coming there to get my restrictions lifted of course you guys have manual uh will it be better uh say for example my buddy if he can't get the manual would he still be able to test out in the automatic and would it be a little bit cheaper or would it be the same we don't have any automatic trucks um all of our trucks are manual transmission Awesome. So after everything is said and done, we get, you know, we, we, we finally come to the end of the road. We go to test out. Uh, how many times do we get to test out if we don't get it the first, you know, first go around? Do we have, uh, do we have some uh, uh, opportunities to come back and practice or get some more time in? Yeah, so we do allow retest, but we do not allow unlimited retest. Um, so your first test fee is covered in the cost of tuition. Your second test fee would be $50, and your third test fee would be $350. Um, so it does, you know, get more expensive more frequently you fail, um, but you will always receive um, two additional days of training. I'm I'm confident that I'm able to, you know, to pass and everything. But for my buddy, let's just say he doesn't get it at all. Uh, is there a way that he can get uh, reimbursed some of his uh, money back or or is just pretty much one and done if he gets it at all? No, I mean, if he's completed the training, he wouldn't get any money back. I will go and do my road test with the actual DMV of, of Georgia, right? I mean, it won't be Correct. through your yep. guys. Yep. In our truck, um, you would take your CDL road test at the DDI. All right, cool. Uh, the equipment. Um, I, I did come across, uh, you know, a couple of videos. Uh, the equipment, what, what, what equipment we'll be training out of? You saw a video from a popular vlogger. Um, our range trucks are beat up. Um, we let all of our students know in advance the tires are bald on the range, um, so the students can't gain traction and snap a drive shaft because it was previously happening like three times a month. Um, the trucks are actually decommissioned on the range. They aren't DOT inspected. They don't have death systems, which is illegal to operate on the road without. Um, so they're beat up. They go forward, they go backwards. That is all they need to do out on the range. Um, now our test trucks are newer. They are not brand new. We have Freightliners and we have Internationals. I want to say they're 2016. Our road trucks, which are also our test trucks, are DOT inspected. Um, they are road worthy. They just aren't brand new Peter belts. Um, you know, we don't have brand new trucks because our trucks are tore up 
I don't want to say on a daily basis because that's kind of pushing it up, but I mean on a weekly basis, one thing or another happens to the trucks because we're training hundreds of student drivers who don't really know what they're doing yet, you know? Well, the truck that's set up for pre-trip is a road truck. So that's going to be one of the Freightliners or Internationals, and that's uh, they're always going to be 2016 models or newer. Um, our range trucks, the ones that you're pack practicing, your parallel parking, your offset, your alley dock, alley dock, those are the trucks that are beat up. And I see say beat up because like they're jackknifed, and the students may you know, bend in the little wall on the side of the trailer. Um, you know, they need body work. They're not pretty. They could probably do with a paint job, but they don't go on the road. They stay in our training lot and just go forward and backwards all day long. Um, so those are the ones that are beat up. So again, it's, it, it is cost about 3,900, uh, three to four weeks. Uh, and for me, I will have to, you know, of course, go through the whole shebang. But that's the same thing that my that my buddy will have to go through as well. So uh, I thank you very much for the uh, for the information, ma'am. Uh, again, like I no, said, we're definitely. you know we're we're out here. We're looking to you know see if we can you know get him a CDL and get this restriction up off of me. I'm telling you, you need. You need to look into the grant because the the blogger got the grant. Like the the grant's easily to obtain. It's very easy to obtain because it's it's worth looking into. You know, it's based on income or lack thereof. Um, and I mean, if you can qualify for free training, then why not take advantage of it? You know, um, I, I came across you guys uh, via that popular uh, blogger. Uh, is there is there any i guess i want to say any truth to what she had said in her vlog about the about the school so i didn't watch all of it um you know our trucks are beat up but we didn't know any of we didn't know before she posted this video that she had any issues. Um, so we're kind of confused with it. Like there were instances of trucks going down, um, but I mean, the, she didn't get along with our director of training. Um, so I mean, I mean, on some hand, I mean, the trucks are broken down, they're beat up. Um, you know, our instructors do prepare you. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I, I have a, a Facebook group. And so basically all the information that I learned today, I will definitely pass it on to my Facebook group that, you know, that's interesting, especially for the grant. No, exactly. And like I told you at the beginning, like I don't, paint a false picture of Catla. We are the most affordable trucking school in Georgia. Um, our equipment isn't brand new. It's going to be beat up. And I don't want to say you get what you pay for because I've been here five years and I think we have a really phenomenal group of instructors right now. Um, I feel like there's at least one instructor for any personality type that comes in here, you know? I, I would definitely take this information with me and I would definitely pass it on to uh, to my network of drivers and my Facebook group and, you know, my other social media outlets. But yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. You have a good day. Well, there you have it, everybody. Cat Law. Very open, very honest. Uh, like she said, you know, the vlogger uh, did get the CDL. I mean, she did get her CDL. So obviously, Cat Law did something right, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, as she explained, look, she's, she's letting you guys know that, hey, we might not have the best uh, quality trucks on the range. But it is good enough for us to teach you. So 
if you guys is good with that, some of you guys should be good with that. You know, they're the most, she said, they're the most inexpensive uh, truck school in Georgia right now. And the trucks that they take out on the road is road ready. And you don't have to worry about the trucks that you've seen in the uh, vloggers uh, video. Now, I was thinking when I saw that, when, when I saw that, I was saying like, no, nah, Cat Law, no, nah, man, y'all not, y'all, y'all not having, y'all not training the trainees in those, in that particular truck. Like that truck was like atrocious. Like, I mean, if you guys seen the video, I want y'all to see like what y'all getting before y'all get here. Look at this truck. I don't even care if I get in trouble at this point. As long as I get my license, I do not care. But look, look at this. This is one of the trucks. A majority of the trucks look like this. I mean, when I got it, I never get in here without any gloves on. The tires be jacked up. It was atrocious, right? But I don't think that particular truck, anybody was, was being trained out of that truck. Now, is the trucks dirty? I'm going to admit when I was, when I was training, Yes, our trucks was dirty. Our trucks was beat up. Uh, we did not have the best trucks on the on the range when we was doing our parallel parking, our alley docking, uh, and you know, so so forth and so on. But the trucks that we had on the road, yeah, they was in pretty good condition. You know, and I, I agree. I mean, if you want to wear gloves because you are in there with maybe about maybe about four or five people at a time, then, yeah, you know, you might want to wear some gloves and probably might want to wear a mask as well. But but still, you know, the, the trucks, the road trucks are in good condition. And she said as much. OK, um, of course. You can get a grant so you can come in and give them the grant and that 3000 plus will be covered. Now, as far as coming in for lifting your restriction, unfortunately, you have to go through the whole process with them. All right. Again, there probably might be schools. I will be calling uh, 160 Driving Academy very shortly and see what's their policy or how they're offering for drivers that already have cdls but just but just need to get their restrictions lifted but here at cat law gotta do the whole shebang all over again but if you get the grant and and the grant will take care of it then i think cat law will probably be the way to go Cat Law Driving School out of Estelle, Estelle, Georgia. All right. If you guys are interested, the information about the grant and the school will be in the description below. Drivers, if you went through the school, let us know how your experience was with Cat Law Truck Driving School. Now, of course, I continue to do my research on cat law truck driving school and you should do the same thing here are some of the reviews some of the google reviews from cat law truck driving school and as always we're going to start with the with the lowest we're gonna do a couple of lowest and then we're gonna probably do a couple of tops, okay? Because there's always some people that don't like what they had experience with cat law. So let's start with this one. This one comes from Kay Casely Morgan. 
uh, about a year ago. She gives it a one. She says, she says, don't waste your time at this school. Just attend a technical college. They are all for the money and not for helping you obtain your CDLs. I attend this school. Don't worry about my name. Dirty trucks, dirty equipment, and half the equipment doesn't work. They don't sanitize or clean the trucks after use. Classes are so full, you rarely get seat time. They are just for the money. Go here at your own risk. Of course, Cat Law came back and responded. They said, yo, we never had a student named Casely, Kelsey, Morgan, or Moreland here at Cat Law. I'm assuming this is left by one of our competitors. Cat Law graduates hundreds of CDL drivers a year. This comes from Griffin. He says, as a former as a former instructor at this driving school, I feel it's a duty to be honest and let you know that this is a terrible environment for students. I was fired after my third week, even though the students gave me great reviews and scored high on their evaluations and DD and DD tests. It's where that you feel as though that you're being fired for being too good at teaching, but trucking in the South is tricky. Kenny, the lead instructor is just a mean old hater who hates me from the day that I got there and made sure that I was kept in line and, and not allowed to apply myself. I guess he felt threatened. Same thing for Brandon, another short white guy who used fear and intimidation to make students laugh at inappropriate and insensitive jokes. It is hard to keep up with all these folks' face, but the worst is the owner, Ed, who allows them to abuse their authority and make it difficult for a lot of minority students to have a successful experience because of his idea of what is right. It's evil with a little E. Seriously, this is the school to avoid, not because it has a facility or one-on-one instruction. The culture at Cat Law is decidedly stuck in the past, and I'm sure in a few years, the students will have smartened up and gone elsewhere with their hard-earned money. Cat Law. <laughs> They do have a response for this one. It goes, obviously a disgruntled former employee. His name is actually, I can't pronounce his first name, but it's Jackson. And he was a student at Cat Law back in 2016. He used our in-house financing to cover his tuition, but defaulted on the loan immediately in eight years he has not made a single payment on the loan regardless we gave him an opportunity to become an instructor here at cat law contrary to his statements he was absolutely horrible none of our students wanted to work with him we thought that we could possibly mold him into a productive instructor, but after a couple of weeks, it became evident that due to his attitude and lack of work ethic, it was just not possible. It is also silly that he's pulling the race card when most of our training staff and at least half of our students are minorities. Cat Law graduates around 600 students annually, and we are well respected in the industry. There are no evil people here with big or little ease. Mr. Jackson wrote this review within 15 minutes of being let go. 
He also tested our office manager and told her to go kill yourself. Mr. Jackson, it is unfortunate things did not work out here, but we wish you the best. Woo, man, that's, woo. Even, even after eight years of defaulting on their loan, after he got his CDL from them, they still turned around and gave this guy the opportunity to drive for him. Maybe, maybe, be, maybe to pay off the loan per se. Yeah, we'll bring you on, but uh, you know you still owe us, right? So we'll take maybe about two, three hundred dollars, or maybe two hundred dollars out of your paycheck to cover for that defaulted loan that you uh, took out on us. Man, well, <laughs> let's see what uh, let let <laughs> let's see what what some positive people has to say about cat law. Lehana says, "I started my journey with cat law at the end of last year with the classroom. Miss Gwen is amazing, sweet, and straight to the point, which is great." I started on the range, pre-trip maneuvers, driving. At the beginning of the year, I was in the weekend class and had the opportunity to work with an amazing group of trainers. Tristan was my go-to to help with anything I needed. He helped boost my spirits when I felt defeated. Though he bounced around from different groups of students, he always made me feel included and Ensure he gave his time to get me through. He is truly an amazing asset to the company. Great spirit, team player, and well-rounded. All right. This is a lone post, so definitely go back and check that out. But Cat Law came back and they said, yo, thank you for the review, Lehana, and thank you for choosing Cat Law. Well, drivers, that's it. I am Lockout Man, and this is the MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. If you guys want me to get another review for you, all you got to do is let me know in the Gmail, Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com, or you can leave it in the comments below, or you can support the calls by hitting the cash app let me know in the notes who you want to review on on the next mtc and we will get it out there for you all right that's it until next time everybody who's next